France has paid tribute to the late Finch. Yes, uh, noting that it's just exactly a year since he left us. It should be noted that he left on December 23rd, 2022, and that marks exactly one year since the popular Cameroonian musician and artist Finch passed away. He died in a ghastly accident alongside his manager, Petch Bell, along the Douala Boya Road. It should be noted that Finch was more than just a singer. His songs often carry messages of hope, social and societal issues, political change, and many were celebrating him. Many youths look up to Finch and they see him as an idol. Many watched him, many saw him as a role model. Of course, he was the he was the face of Cameroon. He was the face of Cameroon 237 music industry. So many fans gathered to pay tribute to him. That includes his like, that includes his fiance and of course the lovely daughter. So they actually went to the site and of course, as you can see from the slides there, the little baby was there, the little angel was there to say, keep resting in peace daddy. And we say thank you so much. That said, if you can see to the t-shirts the they are wearing, representing the foundation, that's Leslie's foundation, noting that it has always been his wish to organize a foundation for the IDPs that is giving back to the society. So they also went out there to Douala and offer gifts to the various IDPs, which they could lay their hands on. So as usual, if you feel or you deem in your heart that it's necessary for you to support this foundation, why don't you do that? You know, he has been bringing to us beautiful songs like Kakak, You Have Our Patience, You Have Auntie Kiriku, and a handful of other beautiful Song. So if you enjoy listening and dancing to his music, why don't you support his foundation? So we say may his soul rest in peace and may God keep that beautiful daughter safe and of course keep providing for the lovely mother. So on that note, we talked to how the UCB 50 years concert passed there in Douala. Many Cameroonian celebrities, many Cameroonian artists were there to celebrate in their numbers. That includes international artists like Kiss Daniel. Yes, Kiss Daniel was also live at Douala for the UCB 50 years concert, noting that Kiss Daniel was uh, hailing Cameroon where he said, this is the best show I've had for the past six months. He quoted, Kiss Daniel was delivering one of his trading performance at the, the, the that's a Bipanda Reunification Stadium in Douala. He performed some of his hit songs like Boga, Woju, Kov, Mama, Wala, Not the Finish, which featured uh, Tiwa Savage and a handful of others. The huge crowds were there to celebrate with him. Of course, they were chanting the lyrics of some of his songs, and Kiss Daniel felt so happy. Of course, you could see that the fans too, they were very, very happy. Other artists that were performing, uh, some artists like Ringnu, also there, of course. Ringnu's case was different because she also came online to say that she had technical hitches that occurred during, the, during her performance, which led to some other things, like she did not perform well, she was not satisfied, and she thinks that UCB owes like owes her a show, she needs to perform again so that she can feel satisfied. So she went on social media to pin, pin down a letter to her fans to tell them what actually transpired. In her words, she said, hello, me fans. I'm making this post to explain the event of yesterday to you, to all the fans. My performance at the UCB 50 shows does not represent a tint of my ability as an artist. This greatly does, uh, and this, greatly disappointed me, my team, my fans, and who, that's for those of you who are wondering what went wrong, here is what happened. There was a very serious technical issue that caused the sound to cease throughout at least 80% of my planned performance period. Light and sound went off after my first warm-up song, that's Friend Zone, just when I was getting into it. All microphones died on us on stage. And it seems only some musical instrument walked through the feedback speaker. Upon the request of the technical team, I had to drop the mic, then picked my shoes off, and that's it, picked my shoes off, sorry, and we started improving the improving and doing some stage entertainment to keep the crowd engaged. My amazing dance crew even started doing that backflip and a solo performance in hopes that the sound issues will be fixed for us to resume our show. Sadly, they could not fix the sound issue, so I had to make the audience sing controller for me while we just danced. Thankfully, they knew the lyrics by the heart and we managed. 
the end of the show team in control. Okay, still in control. This serious technical glitch was beyond my control, and I appreciate the efforts of the UCB's contractors as uh, they scrambled to rectify it to no avail. Sadly, it happened and resulted in a performance that did not reflect me and does not represent the direction I want to take as a young performing artist who is growing. So, I want to plead that the UCB gives me another show. I would love to celebrate this UCB 50th anniversary adequately and I want to feel fulfilled that I gave a performance that lives up to expectation of my fans and this prestigious brand on this special occasion. Thank you for the love and support. She noted hats and of course the, the B uh, tag. So we say, okay, we hope that UCB will respect this. You know, this two have been trending on social media. Others are posting that that is her request. We look forward if UCB will respect this or not. Of course, we while we are talking about that show, we also note that there was an amazing show to a concert taking place at uh, Tombe. Yes, we talk how Vivit also celebrated or organized the homecoming concert which was highly represented with Cameroonian artists, top Cameroonian artists like Daphne, Titi Panchak, uh, there's a Big G, Baba and handful of others. So there was a lot of celebration too in Tombe and we say an applause to all Cameroonian artists because they're doing extremely well in their various fears. You can see in the slides there, there were a lot of Bakosi people and other people who rallied just to support Vivid and the other talented Cameroonian artists. So we say well to them, they should keep doing that great work. We leave you on that note and we talk how the committee of a protest journalist there's a CPJ and a Reporters Without Borders, that's RCF, have condemned the 12 years prison sentence clamped on journalist Amadou Vamuki. That's a former general manager of a state-owned Cameroon radio television, CRTV, who was sentenced on Tuesday, December 20, 2022, by the Special Criminal Court in Yawunde for embezzlement when he served as the manager of CRTV. That is, the court also ordered him to pay a fine of about 47 million CFR. That's addressing the court before the sentence was handed down. Amadou Vamuki narrated his ordeal, saying, You cannot imagine what a human ordeal it is to be brutally thrown behind bars for something you know nothing about, for being a subject of slander sponsored by media when you believe yourself to be both an honest man an honest man he ended in separate the cpj and the rcf condemns the ruling calling for the release of amadou vamuki noting that angela quinta african's program coordinator at the committee to the protest journalists described the role the, the ruling as a, a very travesty of justice she said tuesday's night conviction and sentencing of Cameroonian journalist Amadou Vamuki on charges of embarrassment is a, mon that's a momental travesty of justice and could be tantamount to death sentence. She and has already spent more than years in as well, failing health and overcrowded, unhygienic condition at the Kondengi Central Prison immediately allow him to go home on bail, Angela stated. According to reporters without borders, there is no case against Amadou Vamoke, describing it as an empty file and the organization condemned his release with all charges against him dropped. They noted the epilogue of the endless trial of Amadou Vamoke is also distressing and uh, he gets 12 years in prison. That's the RCF denounced an empty file and calls for the dropping of all charges which were levied against him. It should be noted that the 72 years old veteran journalist Amadou Ramoki was arrested in 2016 and he told held in detention at the Kondengi. That's a maximum security in Yawun. Over 300, that's 130. Noting that he is the longest saving of five journalists currently in 
currently in prison in Cameroon, according to the CPG's annual report, Prison Censor of Jailed. That is a uh, journalist as of December 1st, 2022. So, as it is, others are also bringing in their research. This is Cameroon is the third worst jailer of journalists in Africa after Egypt and. Uh, Eritrea, according to the latest CPJ report. So that uh, article there is uh, quite a serious one. And of course, we say that uh, the authority that be, they should look into this case. And why not the court case which was ruled against this great journalist? They should look into it. Of course, regarding his age, he's quite old. 12 years prison sentence. Mm -hmm. That's huge. But we thank the journalist with our borders for that uh, reaction, quick reaction there. At this point, we take you out of Cameroon. Let's do what we